so students this is your third video from the chapter evaporation and boiling now in this particular video we will be covering few examples from everyday life in relation to evaporation how evaporation takes place in a closed container and the concept of volatile and non volatile liquids now as we all know evaporation produces a cooling effect now you should understand why why will evaporation produce a cooling effect whenever evaporation is occurring from the surface of our body it will take the heat from our body and release it to the surroundings now the surroundings will become heated up also the cool air from the surroundings will be released into our body in return that will make us to feel cooler so as we can always see whenever we are applying perfume or alcohol to our body we feel cooler now suppose when we are sweating sweat comes out of the pores it will evaporate takes energy away from our skin and gives us back the cool air from the surroundings thus we feel cool now on a humid day the air is full of water vapor now if water vapor amount is too much this will slow down the evaporation of sweat and sweat tends to stay on the skin and no cooling effect will actually occur thus we feel more hot on a humid day now we can easily catch a cold if you are wet because as we dry out the latent heat is taken from our body and if it is windy it will cool down even more so what exactly happens during evaporation in a closed container now if a liquid is kept in a closed container the vapor cannot escape now as the amount of vapor keeps on increasing inside the container so this doesn't allows the rate of evaporation to increase now when there is enough vapor some of the molecules in the vapor state they are going to lose energy due to collision and condense back into the liquid state once again thus the liquid will remain inside the container only now based upon the rate of evaporation there are two forms of liquid that are present one is called the volatile liquid another is called the non volatile liquid now volatile liquids are those with less intermolecular force whereas the non volatile liquids are those with very high intermolecular force between them volatile liquids are going to evaporate fast but the non volatile liquids they will evaporate slowly now the liquids which are volatile in nature it is pretty much easy for the molecules to escape from the cohesive forces but the non volatile liquids for them it is pretty much difficult for the molecules to escape from the cohesive forces now some common examples for volatile liquids are alcohol and petrol whereas non volatile liquids are all about mercury that's all about this particular session we'll discuss about boiling and its effects in our next module